Welcome back. In the previous video, I've shown you how to apply a custom character from our smart content library with a one click. And what that does is literally apply skin texture or a material preset, as we call it. And we're going to learn more about this in a forthcoming video. But it also applied a character shape with a one click. I wanted to quickly go back to the base Genesis figure and show you how you can apply these things, not to 100%, but to a little bit and mix and match the character shapes together and also where to find these exciting adjustment dials so that you can build your custom characters in no time. This happens on something called the shaping tab here on the right hand side. Just for presentation purposes, I'm going to left click and drag the shaping tab and dock it over here on the left hand side, just so that we have a little bit more screen real estate and that my face isn't in the way and all that. On the left hand side here, under Genesis 9, if you open that up, you have a category called Actor, under which you have a category called People. And if you click on that, you see that I have a lot of characters installed here on my system. And those are all the custom characters that can be applied. One of which, under the feminine section here, is Angela. If I left click and drag the slider with my Genesis figure selected, you can see that my character grows from the base shape into the Angela shape. And this is just such a strong feature of Das Studio and how it handles custom characters. Because the thing is, you can now go and dial up another character, for example, Josie. Left click and drag that, and that turns her into Josie. But notice that you don't have to do this to 100%. You can do this to, say, 50%, and then blend in Angela to 50% as well. And then create a completely custom character that isn't available anywhere else. This is very cool. So now you could also go ahead and say, well, I maybe try a little bit of Julia in the same character, creating a totally different character shape. You can also blend masculine shapes into a feminine figure and vice versa. Since Genesis 9, we can do that. It's a very strong feature. But notice what happens when I go and just stick with Angela here for a moment, that if I move the slider up and down, you can see that the body and the face changes at the same time. Now, technically under the hood, those are two morphs that are being dialed up and driven by this one slider. So you can adjust the facial features separately and independently from the body features. Let me show you how that works. So under actor, I have people. So that's under actor people, but there's also actor full body people and those are just the bodies. So left click and drag just Angela and then the face stays the same and only the body changes in there. Do you see that? Very interesting. So then the next question is great. Now that we have the body sorted out, if I have a little bit of Josie's body and a little bit of Angela's body, how do I make it so that the figure now gets Julia's head, for example? Well, I'm glad you asked. That happens, as you can imagine, under the head section, where we find a lot of other sliders. So under head, we have people. And under people, we have in the feminine section, we have the Angela head, for example, or the Freya head, as another example. Or we can find the Julia head as another example. And you can blend these in as well. You can have a little bit of the Julia head and a little bit of the Josie head, for example, but a completely different body. So that is the strength of the Genesis figure. And all of that happens independently from the skin materials, which you can now apply from any character that you wish. If you ever wanted to see what you've actually dialed in here, there's this little category called currently used. If you click on that, you can see every slider that's dialed in and also how much it's dialed into. So if you're not thinking, I want to fine tune the body, then you can take a little bit of the Josie body out and mix a little bit more of the Angela body in until you have that perfect character there. Head shapes and body shapes, that's not the only thing that you can adjust. You can also go to town on adjusting specific body features. And the Genesis figure is organized into all these categories here. So let's bring everything back to zero. There's actually a shortcut for that. It's under Edit, Restore, Restore Figure. The default shortcut for that is Control Shift F. If you click that, then everything will be reset to the base Genesis 9 figure. So none of these dials are dialed up. Let's head back over here into actor full body base and have a look at all these sliders. Those are all installed or those appear on my system because I've installed this package here, the Genesis 9 Essential Shapes Bundle. And I highly recommend you get it because it'll let you adjust the Genesis body into ways that really get the creative juices flowing and let you make amazing adjustments to all kinds of anatomical features on the human body. As an example, I could make my character a little bit more emaciated. So left click and drag that and hasn't had a lot to eat in the last few months. Likewise, body fitness. So if I want my character to be a little bit more fit, there we go. Notice this drives two sliders under the hood, the body fitness details and the mass. But you can adjust those separately if you want. 
Body heavy, if I have a little bit of an overweight character. There's also, these are the base moss, but you can also now go into the feminine or masculine sections where you have specific morphs that are meant to be used on male figures. Not that you can't mix and match them, like body portly, this is something like a heavier set male would bring, or body stocky, this is not necessarily what women would look like. So we have a special female section for that, which is the body pair figure. So this is more like a heavier set woman or voluptuous. It's another one that you can blend in. You can use as much or as little of these as you want. Kind of just a word of advice, be careful with dialing multiple things up to 100%. That is often something that doesn't look good. Likewise, I wouldn't use a voluptuous or a heavy body slider and then also bring in the emaciated slider because that would kind of work against each other. So that wouldn't work well. You can alt left click on any of these sliders to reset them back to zero. There's so much stuff that you can play with, like body tone, for example. You can bring in a little bit of HD detailed body tone here, body mass, more or less. And you can mix and match this to create your perfect custom characters. I actually did a couple of live streams in which I'm doing that, which I'm going through many of these sliders. I'm going to link to those streams in the description of this video. The human body is vast and DAS have literally put hundreds of sliders into all kinds of sections of the body and they're all categorized here. So one is in the head so the head we've already talked about but there's also the face section there's the eyes there's the nose there's the mouth there's the ear so there's a lot of stuff to explore and i strongly recommend you do this as you play with this you can't really break anything if you want to know what you've dialed up there's always the currently used section here and you can left click and drag and fine tune things in and out so have a look at the shaping tab and see what custom characters you can come up with oh by the way the shaping tab is essentially a split of what is also available on the parameters tab so if you see me playing with these sliders in other videos i tend to use the parameters tab it's kind of personal preference shaping tab really makes it nice and easy to visualize these large thumbnails here especially for the people and for the body sliders here so take a look at this and have a lot of fun with this this is something to really dig your teeth into. Pause the video here, get caught up with me, and I will see you in the next one.